Hello friends and felines and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? So for this video, I decided I'm going to start a whole new series since spring is almost in the air. And when I think of spring, I think of rainbows and colors and pastels and all that stuff. So I decided that I'm going to do a series of videos where I go through like each of the colors of the rainbow and do one rainbow look um, to start off with. Um, so for today's video, I decided to go in with the 35i Icy Fantasy Palette. This is the perfect palette for a pastel rainbow look. So I'm going to start off with this one and then I'll go through the colors, uh, red, orange, yellow, you know, so on. And I'll do a look on each of those colors and I'll try to use a different palette each time. Um, so for like the red, I could use the blood sugar, the blue, obviously the blue blood and so on. I've been getting into a lot of color lately. I've been doing a lot of fun lip colors, which is definitely stepping out of my comfort zone. So I think I'm gonna use this palette today. I haven't really dug into this much except for when I first got it. And I think I'm gonna do some sort of rainbow highlight abstract thing going on today. So if you wanna see how I do that, then please keep on watching. And did most of my makeup off camera really quick so we could come back and play with the fun pastel colors that are inside this palette um, but first I'm gonna give myself a very light bronze I don't want to do too much like contouring because I'm gonna be going in with a lot of colors and it would just like take away from the colors so I'm just gonna use the bronzer that is in the trip for two by Wander Beauty and just give myself a quick little sun kiss look around the edges all right, so nothing too crazy. Just want to add back some dimension to the face since I was looking kind of flat. And now we get to go on and play with this little baby. Um, so as I said before, I haven't really played um, around with this palette a lot. I did swatch a couple of colors when I first got it. So it is very pastel-y. Um, there are some mattes and some shimmers and it looks like some like pressed glitter in here. Um, so I'm going to do the eyes first. I'm going to make it very like rainbowy, and I'm going to do rainbow like all like up my face up the side and kind of make it more abstract. Um, that's kind of also why I fluffed up my eyebrows kind of like that. I mean they are getting a little bit crazy. They're not really staying but I figure why not. Let's try it. All right so in case you guys didn't know I got this new little handy dandy carousel storage thing for all my brushes and I'm very excited it spins and I have my mascaras in here and my setting sprays and my mirrors so yeah I got it from Michaels for like 30 bucks because it was on sale so it's a pretty good deal in case you're looking for one I really need to get a P. Louise base because this is like way too tan for my eye, but we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna do a very like blown out eye, which I haven't really done. I don't have a lot of eye space between like my lash line to my brow bone. So trying to squeeze in a lot of colors is a little tricky. Um, I've done a rainbow look before using the James Charles palette. I kind of did like the red, orange, yellow on one side and the green, blue, purple on the other side. Um, I'm going to try to fit as many colors as I can into my one eye space. So let's get started. You know, I don't even know if I have enough brushes to get through this whole look because I need to clean mine and a lot of them have color on them. So we'll see. First off is red. There isn't really like a true red in here, um, but there is like this one, which is like a sequiny, like pink color. This one is obviously more like a reddish pink, and then there's this shimmer that's like a reddish orange. So I'm kind of gonna dip into all three and start that on my inner corner.
Now moving on to the orange, there is actually a pastel orange color in here. And I'm, right now I'm just going in and kind of packing in the colors. I'll buff it out, add more, buff it out, add more, buff it out, go on my fingers. And so it's just gonna be a work in progress. Might look bad at first, but hopefully we'll get to a decent product at the end. So now there isn't really a yellow, but there is like a banana color and like a shimmer color that will be like kind of cute to go on top of that. So I'm going to go in with like this color. Um, I forgot I had shade names taped up here. I should probably use those. So I'm going to go in with Get Fresh and then I'm going to go in with Snow Glow up here on top. This is looking interesting. I have like a combination of mattes and sequins and glitters, but I'm just like working through it. I'm kind of just trying to figure out what I'm doing as I go through it. I think as I continue, I'm just going to stick with the mattes and then whatever shimmer colors I want to put on top, I'll go back through and like kind of buff it out, if that makes sense. Okay, so after yellow comes green and there's kind of like this green called Echo right here. It's kind of like a puke green color and there's this one so I'm kind of mixed these two together so it's like a yellow green combo I'll go on later with this shimmer color in the shade dazed on top and then as you can see there's like a nice teal here to transition to which is the shade chill thrill and a nice teal shimmer shade to go on top which is thaw yeah and then we have some blues and purples over here and I'm probably going to dip into most of those So I feel like there really isn't a yellow shade at all. And like the yellow is not coming through and I don't know what to do because there's not really a yellow. There's like this chartreuse yellow green color, which really isn't doing much. And then there's like this shimmer color. So maybe if I put the shimmer on in the middle, like a halo eye, then maybe it'll look good. I mean, the rainbow is kind of there, but pastels are very, very, very tricky to get right. Like, it's definitely hard to get that pigment to come through because you don't want it neon, you want a pastel, but you still want to see it. You don't want to see like the foundation underneath. So I'm gonna go through and just try to like clean this up a little bit and do my lower lash line and hopefully it'll come out okay. 
I think we are getting somewhere. Sorry I'm not talking to you guys through this a lot. I'm just trying to experiment myself. This palette is definitely a learning curve. I've never worked with pastels and it requires patience. So that's something to keep in mind if you have ordered this or want to order it. I feel like I should just try to skip the yellow and just go from orange to green, but then it's not a true rainbow. I mean, but be honest, do you actually see every single color of the rainbow when you see a rainbow in the sky? No, you might see like red and blue and green, maybe orange, but like you don't, you don't see all the colors. I feel like I just have to go with a big wing, like a wing eyeliner and then go with black. I feel like white would be weird. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the biggest wing I have ever done. So I'm keeping my eyeliner as close to my lash line and my inner part of my lid, and then I'm going to make it big on the outside. The last thing I want to do is work so hard my cat is getting all sorts of crap today. The last thing I want to do is take away from all the color that I just put on my face. pretty clean. Like, that's probably the best I've done in a while. I've never even done, like, a huge wing like this. I think ever. Like, that is definitely the biggest wing I've ever done. Like, I feel like it's not perfect. I could definitely do better, but I feel like I don't want to touch it anymore and ruin it. I'm going to touch it more, though. I didn't ruin it, but I think it connected better in with the rest. And once I put lashes on, I feel like it'll definitely look better. I'm just not looking forward to having to do the other eye. I'm like not, not excited for that. As I said before, there are shimmers and mattes of like each color, and then I'm keeping it mostly matte on my eye. So I'm gonna go in with like the same shade range, but just go into like the shimmers and the sequins that they have in here. And I'm probably just gonna apply most of them with my fingers. Um, so I'm definitely going to spritz my face to make that very nice and adhesive um, for all these shimmers. Alright, red. We'll make sure we put this one like right on the apple of my cheek. 
which helps because, you know, that's where blush would go if I was putting on blush. I feel like super cute. And then we'll go in with this red orange shimmer shade. It's a little bit more pigmented because it's a little bit different. Like that first one I did was more of a uh, like sequiny color. And so I'll kind of mix those together. I like, thought oh, that's already so pretty. Um, then we'll go in with that snow glow shade that I originally thought looked like it was yellow, but ended up not. It just looks like a high, like a regular highlighter. And we'll kind of make that our yellow. Green one. Ooh, the green one's like kind of like duochrome. Is that picking up at all? Kimba, are you there? Yeah, it's getting there. There's also another like shimmer green. Maybe I'll add that just to get more of like the color and then put like that shimmer sequin color on top. Just keep climbing up the face. This is such a learning curve. For not having like played with this before, I had no idea how this palette was going to perform. All right, so then that teal color. And the kitten is back up. Hello, baby. No, stop playing with my stuff. It's not a toy. I don't want it to interfere with the eyeshadow. But it kind of already is. It's taken on its own little curve. All right, is this a blue shade? Oh, yes, you are. So thank you for that. And we'll kind of like take it around the eyeshadow, maybe. Does not help that I have like a giant like healing pimple on this side not help at all. Ooh, pixie. And I need a purple, and I need to wipe off my fingers again. Hey, knock it off. And there are like two purple colors I could use. Ooh, that one's like really purple. Maybe I'll go lightly with this one and then shimmer it on top. Like lightly tap that on there, and then we'll go in with this on top. Oh, that's cute. And buff and blend this a little together. Wow. All right, now I'm gonna go take an hour to try to replicate this on this side of the face and I'll be right back. All right, all, so this is the final look after a long time of trying to mimic my one eye onto the other side of my face. But after lots of playing around and buffing and blending, I think it turned out great. Wow, you guys, that took a long while to perfect. Obviously, I finished the rest of my makeup look. The left eye was a little bit easier because I knew going in what to expect. But let me just tell you, with this palette, there is a learning curve. Like, this is the first time I worked with palettes. Like the formula is a little wonky on a couple of them. There is a lot of fallout, but you just have to practice and be patient. Just figure out which brushes work best, which one you just need to use your finger with, and just, you know, keep building and buffing and building and buffing and blending until you eventually get something that you like. Other than that, like I do love this palette. Like I love this packaging. It is so cute. I do like the way it turned out. Like I feel like there are definitely some things I could have done better. Um, but yeah, this is very pastel, rainbow, glitter fun, festival wear. You know, I didn't think it was going to take a turn like this, but it did. Once I finished my first eye and went on to my left one, it was a lot easier because I knew what to expect. Um, my eyeliner is a little off on the left side. It's not as angled upward as my right eye, but from afar, they look decent enough to be passable. Um, the lashes, I believe, are camisole. Um, by Kiss or Ardell, one of those two. Um, they are also very tricky to work with because they are very bold, um, but they're not like as long. I think I wanna get a couple of pairs of lashes that are like super long for something like this, but are still flirty. And then I went ahead and threw on that glitter shade, um, which is Frostbite. And I just threw glitter all over, pretty much put it in my inner corner. Uh, I put it on my highlight area and it pretty much ended up anywhere. Obviously, I put my hair down. I deep conditioned last night, so I feel like I had to let it fall to its natural whatever it wants to do for the day. 
And then my lips, um, this is Anastasia Liquid Lip. Oh, I forgot the shade, it's not in front of me, but I'll link it below. And then I went over top with the gloss in the shade Ice Cold or something like that. And again, I'm really bad. I don't have like a lot of my products in front of me right now, so I'll link everything I use down below in the description. I'm in the process, hopefully tonight, of setting up my desk um, and I'll have hopefully have like a new area to film with instead of at my kitchen table and having to clean it all the time from all the makeup on it. And like I said, I've been getting new storage units and I'm all very excited. Um, I'm slowly building up my little makeup vanity corner film area, but I just need, I need a new, new place. I need a bigger apartment, a house, something, because I can't deal with this. But yeah, <laughs> sorry, long story short, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a roller coaster ride. I am looking to play with this palette a lot more in the future. I think this is super cute. I feel like a fairy. Like I feel like I just need to put like fairy wings on and I'm all set. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you are aware of when I post a new video. I'm hoping maybe to get up to doing two videos each week, every week and throwing in some cat videos. Maybe I'll do one on like a Monday or a Tuesday and then maybe I'll do a feline Friday where I'll post something with my cats just them being dumb or stupid or cute or funny or whatever. But I hope you guys like this video again and if you subscribe then I welcome you to my feline family. Bye guys!